we have over the last months talked about, gee, it really should be pen dots. It really should not be Bridgeville's Road. Because the road is a regional arterial roadway that is used by the region. My thought, and I have not discussed this with any of you, but my thought is that this would be an opportune moment for council, for someone on council, to make a motion to resolve that Bridgeville Borough turn Bower Hill Road over to the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. Thank you. Uh, I'll make the motion. He has, he has a motion to second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. We have a motion to authorize the President of Council to execute an agreement to purchase the property at 216 Darby slash Fire Hill Road, a.k.a. Uh, lot block 255-N-233 in as in con condition for present and future public purposes under a general warranty deed for a price not to exceed $100,000 plus incidental costs subject to an appraisal confirming the value of the price and with the other customary terms <coughs> and If anybody wants to know where lot block 255-N-233 is next door. I'll make a minute. Bruce, I'll uh, second. And Bill Henderson, all those in favor? Uh, it is my distinct honor to proclaim May 20th as Amy Perkins Day. Amy will be turning 100 and has been a lifelong resident of Bridgeville and a wonderful asset to our community. Uh, Chief Chilio. Thanks, Mr. President. Where's our fire truck? We <laughs> got pictures. I know. <laughs> um, the solo site will be going up for June 4th right now for final inspection, so it looks like it should be here for community day for everybody to see. Um, one thing I do want to elaborate a little bit tonight on, and I'm sure people in the town have seen the WTA news segments and all that. Uh, we were not brought up in any of that, which is fine. We don't have any real issues down in our fire department to let our residents know, but just a little education. Our fire department in Bridgeville averages between 200 and 250 fire calls a year. So on top of doing all the training and everything else and the fundraising all year long, we handle between 200 and 250 fire calls for a 1.1 square mile town. Are our numbers down? Yes. You know, we're not like we used to be years ago with the number of people in there. Um, we do very well. We hold our own with our numbers. Um, one thing we're very fortunate of down the fire department is, I have a lot of people that work shifts. So we always have some people always around. So as a confidence. <laughs> Mr. Miller here next to me, some of my members belong to work actually with him. They're, it's their full-time job. So when they're not with him, they're with me. So it works hand in hand, but I have a lot of shift work. We average, probably for a call, I'm gonna say about seven, eight people on a call. That's an average. Some calls are down, some calls are higher. So that's the purpose of an average. Well, no one else has mentioned it. So congratulations. The cesspool behind behind no other way of putting it, but behind the fire department has been relocated down to the creek. It is complete. Good job to our solicitor on getting the right of way, our engineer on getting it done, our manager for moving it forward. So thank you. The Facebook page is great. I mean, you're getting information out to the community. If you haven't seen it, I'd, I'd urge you to if you're on Facebook, to uh, friend of the police department. Is that reminds me, did you find the owner of the money? <laughs> no, no one came forward. But it's, uh, we believe it's been adopted to a safe home by this point. <laughs> 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 <laughs>